Here we have Coach Brad Laird after the first uh, scrimmage of spring camp. And Coach, minus the win, <laughs> it was a good day, especially for your defense. They forced uh, five turnovers. And I know in a scrimmage situation, it's always pluses and minuses. But seeing them turn the ball or, or create turnovers is a good thing. Yeah, beautiful afternoon. You know, uh, I think kind of what you expect here uh, uh, into January on a, on a Sunday afternoon. And, and I tell you, it was uh, great for us as coaches and players to, you know, finally be able to, you know, second day of contact. Uh, I mean, to get probably close to 100 live reps, not counting, uh, not counting special teams, and uh, to be able to get some live reps special teams wise. Uh, so, I, you know, I thought it was a great day. I think the thing uh, as we go back and, and, and look at the film and, and initially walking off the field, that, you know, that's the thing that you notice, the, the takeaways that we got defensively, uh, needing to protect the ball defensively. Uh, you know, so those were some of the bright st spots. We got to clean up penalties. Uh, I think uh, if you look close to 90 to 100 snaps, uh, I believe 10 penalties, uh, which, you know, again, first time in a live situation. Those are things that we got to get corrected moving forward. But overall, I thought effort and attitude, um, you know, was great. I thought uh, these guys have really done a great job, you know, now through eight practices in the spring. Uh, showing up uh, each day uh, ready to work. I think the thing that, that we'll look forward, move, look at moving forward is just being consistent. You know, did some great things in all three phases, did some things that we got to get corrected, now working on consistency. I think you touched on being consistent. You had, I think, each one of your, your main three running backs, or your, three of your top four running backs had about an 18 to 20 yard gain. Aubrey Scott, obviously Scooter Adams had a really big one, a 72 yarder early in the scrimmage. But even then, defensively, it seemed that those big gains came fewer and farther between with the more snaps. Yeah, I thought early on, uh, you saw some explosive plays uh, from the running back spot. And, and, and we knew moving forward for this year that we were gonna have to see that. We were gonna have to have more uh, of those guys that step up, you know, uh, a lot of inexperienced guys, but I think they show the explosiveness that they can have. And and we really saw that uh, early on in, uh, in, the, in the scrimmage was them being able to make those big plays. Tough day for the quarterback, just from the weather. Beautiful day, but that wind was, uh, it was swirling. It was blowing hard at times. So it did kind of hard to evaluate in that sense, but also something you may see a little bit more in the spring than you would in the fall with that type of weather. Yeah, of course, you know, especially, uh, this time of year, the weather is going to be so much different than it was in uh, in September. And so, you know, being able to continue to get more reps in this type of, uh, of weather is going to be good. It was. The wind was uh, was blowing uh, was blowing pretty good. But uh, knowing as we uh, move forward, the quarterback is going to have to face uh, these type of weather conditions, uh, you know, as we move forward. Veterans, uh, so key right now, especially with this unique situation, Shamar Bar Bartholomew. Uh, one of those guys that started for two years back there, he had a couple of picks and uh, one really nice diving one in the two-minute drill. Yeah, you know, the, the expectations that you have for guys that have experience, you know, um, you know, Shamar that you talked about that's uh, that's now third year as a starter. You know, those are the expectations we have. So him uh, able to make those plays when we get in these live situations, the big one being right there at the end uh, to end the two-minute situation. And so many other guys that, that have stepped up that, that has the experience in the past that some of these young guys are, and inexperienced guys are looking at uh, for leadership. Kevin Davis, I thought you mentioned some of those new guys. Kevin Davis seemed to be all over the field and alongside a guy like Jamar Valson. I realize it's not the same position, but young and old, again, on that defensive side, really active, really uh, flying around today. Yeah, you know, and I think you're, that is, when you talk about the defensive side, you know, you talk about a veteran linebacker group, uh, but then you talk about a safety group that graduated uh, a lot of uh, – a lot of guys last year. So we've got some young guys uh, that, that are stepping up. We've got some guys that have been here uh, for three or four years that you now see them stepping up. So, you know, you're going to have a combination of that, uh, you know, on both sides of the ball. Uh, but it's good to see those experienced, older guys uh, set the tone with their, uh, with their play and with their leadership. All right, Coach, thanks so much.